Y'all have been saying that this thing is gonna be a freaking cat. I'm telling you guys, it is not a cat. I know you guys won't believe me. So I made this video to show you guys proof that the monster in Poppy Playtime is not a cat, but something else. And what it is, we're gonna find out in this video. So make sure to stay tuned until the very end because that is when it gets really interesting. Oh yeah, and as you might have noticed, I am in the middle of a move right now. And yeah, the background looks different. The camera is different because I don't have my, my work equipment with me right now so it's gonna look a little whack for like one or two videos and then it's gonna get back to normal so bear with me for a little bit you know all right let's get into the video first let's look at the evidence that we have let's gather it all up into a big pile of evidence and figure it out ourselves what it's gonna be all about because we gotta dig in ourselves you know like figure everything out we gotta start with the evidence that we have and later we're gonna figure out what it all means so let's go starting with the thumbnail we can gather a whole bunch Bunch of useful information for example it has purple fur scaly hands sharp black claws and red glowing eyes which nobody honestly like talks about like i haven't heard anybody talk about the glowing eyes literally freaking staring into your face what could that mean right well we're gonna get into that a little later but now to the trailer from the trailer we can tell there's gas coming out of the creature's mouth because at the end when like it puffs gas it goes right from the mouth and stuff or nose or basically the face area. Maybe it has like tubes coming out to like right here or something like that, you know? Who knows? And also it has four claws, three in the front and one in the back. What does this remind you guys of? Chicken foot, right? Or some, some kind of bird. Well, uh, let's not jump the gun here. <laughs> now let's look at what these clues tell us about the monster. But before we do, I want to ask you guys to subscribe to my channel and join the game. We are literally growing by the hours. So don't miss the opportunity to join in early. I have this many subscribers right now and that's not that much. I feel like you could still be a part of the OG team, you know, that, and then the later you can say, I was there from the very beginning and, and yeah, you would have bragging rights for sure. And like always, it's free. So you don't gotta pay for it. Oh, you did it already. All right, awesome. Thank you so much and welcome to the crew. All right, let's get into the video for real now. <laughs> okay, according to all the evidence Evidence that we have like the foot being with three in the front one in the back it kind of looks like a bird so if it's a bird it's then it's not a cat right and also has scales on its hands like in the thumbnail you can literally see scales so cats don't have scales well unless unless they're like sick or something but uh, yeah cats don't have scales <laughs> and honestly i'm not sure why you guys think it's a cat i like it doesn't really look like a cat even it has like a flat face it's purple what cat is purple, you know? Well, I guess Huggy Wuggy is blue and nobody else is blue. So yeah, I don't know. So all that should prove to you guys that it's not a cat. Well, if it's not a cat, then what the heck is it? I have a few theories on that and some are more plausible than others. I think it could be a mix of two different animals because like PJ the Pugapillar, it's a pug dog and a caterpillar. You do you, you see how that the, the, the two thing became one and it's, it's the mix of two animals. So this one could be a mix of two animals too. So fine, I guess it could be a cat, you guys. It could be a cat mixed with a freaking bird for what all I know. Yes, but I think there's definitely part bird in that monster because the feet freaking tell a whole story, you know? Like, look at an eagle's foot, right? Look at its claws. They're they're black just like this dude, right? And the scaly hands and all that stuff, that makes sense. But the face is completely different. It's like flat, and usually birds don't have flat faces. Unless, what if it's an owl? Can you imagine if it's an actual owl? Because owls have a flat face, and they have both eyes literally in the front of their skull like this. So it could be an owl, right? So it's either a mix of two different animals, like a bird mixed with some, like, I don't know, cat, I guess, fine, whatever, or a pug. <laughs> or it could be an owl, because an owl literally, like, fits the freaking description perfectly. It's a bird, it has three toes in the front, one in the back, and its face is flat, and its eyes are in the front. Or something like a Furby, you know? You know those little old toys like an owl Furby? That thing literally looks like the monster that we're gonna see. And it's a toy. And Poppy Playtime has toys in it. So can you imagine they actually like recreated a big ass Furby? Those things are freaking scary. And they're they're from the 90s as well. So, and the, every single other toy is from the 90s. Kind of a big coincidence, don't you think? Yeah, there's a whole bunch of different theories on what it could be. Another thing that I think it also could be is a honey badger. Because those things have the, like, the line in the middle, right? And they're 
fierce as heck. They have like freaking teeth and everything. They literally just attack you for no reason. Your money or your life. Or a freaking skunk because gas comes out of it. And this thing is also good, kind of has gas, right? It has gas, so it's like pooping and farting all over the place, I guess. Another theory that I heard is that the monster is gonna be Bron the Dinosaur. Because in the first trailer, there are toys on the floor, and the first one is Huggy Wuggy, then it's Mommy Long Legs, and after that, it's Bron the Dinosaur. So it's basically like Chapter 1, Chapter 2, and Chapter 3 mascots. But it's obviously not Bron, right? Because the purple monster looks nothing like Bron the Dinosaur. He's freaking pink, bro, or red, or something like that, but he's not purple, that's for sure. But another question is why is Bron the third toy and basically like inferring? that it's gonna be in chapter 3. Or will he even be in chapter 3? Well, I don't think so. Because, because we already saw him even in chapter 2. Like, he was the toy that we, we had to move around to, like, get through a puzzle or something like that. But he was basically just standing there and doing nothing. So he was not alive. So yeah, we basically saw Bron in chapter 2 already. Or did we actually see the actual Bron? Or was that just, like, one of those little toys that was already broken or, like, never alive, I guess? Maybe we will see Bron in chapter 3. And it's gonna be the actual alive version of him but i do not think he is gonna be the main monster that's for sure because i think they always use Bron as a red herring that they always put in there and like oh he's gonna be in this chapter he's gonna be the main monster but he doesn't really fit the profile of the main monster he's really bulky and he's not like i don't know he doesn't look like the actual monsters you know the the regular ones that people usually like like huggy wuggy kissing missy mommy long legs and then this purple monster fits the criteria of being like all cutesy wootsy weirdy looking and the, this guy he's like four legs and a head it's like i don't know it looks weird honestly it doesn't look like he could be the main mascot you know for a whole chapter but he probably will be in chapter three but just as a side character like PJ the Pugga Pillar, you know? And I wonder what kind of side character he's gonna be. Is he gonna be helping us? Or is he gonna be trying to eat us? So yeah, I think Bron is gonna be in there, but I'm not sure what kind of toy it's gonna be. Good or evil? Who knows? I guess we have to wait to find out, right? So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Could it be one of my things? Or do you actually still believe that it's a freaking cat? Don't tell me you still believe it's a cat. Well, fine. I'll accept a cat mixed with a bird. Yes, that is acceptable, but don't tell me it's a freaking cat, man. Come on, I don't, I don't think it's a a regular cat it, it doesn't even look like a regular cat have you seen regular cats they're nice and they don't they have gas unless unless they're sick oh yeah and also i forgot if it is a mix of two things it could be like an owl bear that thing kind of looks like the monster too because those things are ferocious and scary and they're kind of smart as well so according to the trailer the the monster is smart because it's like kind of worshiping the other thing right it like it has it has like brains and stuff so yeah, for the 50th time, it is not a cat and it's probably an owl or a mix. So yeah, guys, that's it. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe because every single subscriber counts. Like, I, I don't just say it. Like, I really appreciate every single one of you guys. All right, thank you so much. Bye.